This is where those who fancy themselves the best and brightest of our society live. Trespassing here is a true honor. All right, how does this sound? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to walk into you like that. Oh, my goodness! Ruth Bellamy? I simply adore your work. We've been over this already. You can't rehearse running into Ruth Bellamy. It's not going to work. Fine, fine. What about this? Oh, my stars! It's Halcyon Helen? May I have your autograph? Now you just sound like a crazed fan, which I suppose is not far from the truth. Welcome. Welcome to the Byzantium office of, I mean, Bureau. Bureau of Exploration. I'm... Never mind who I am. Hi there. Well, hey there. What can I do for you? Ah, yes, Lockwood, right. Unfortunately, she isn't in the office right now. Oh, you can't do that. Sorry. It's, uh, locked. Yes. It is locked, and you cannot enter. Of course I've got a key. I'm the receptionist. It's my job to have a key. I'm not giving it to the likes of you, though. I am honor-bound to protect this office. Oh, uh, well, fine. Hurry up before she comes back and catches me. I mean, you. Catches you. I'm afraid I can't come down anymore, my good man. I'd have to request the council. Metal Purple Body Crush. So, how many... You cannot understand the problem until you free yourself from the desire for an answer. I'm on my legally allotted break. Really, I'm supposed to be here.
Get away from me! Were you following me? Back off, all right? I've got a slide rule and I'm not afraid to use it. Wow, am I ever glad I followed you? I figured you were onto something when you were snooping around the office. So shall we get to the killing? What? Killing? What the fuck is going on here? My friend and I here have jobs to do. You just sit tight for a minute while we discuss how we're gonna handle this. The contract calls for her maps, yeah? Half the bits for the maps, half for the confirmation of the kill. How's about I take the kill, and you take the maps? Hold on, okay? Just... hear me out. What if... Will you pipe down? We're trying to have a business meeting here. You must be new to the assassination game. If you talk to your victims, it makes it harder to kill them, see? It's not recommended. Didn't you read the handbook? Please, just listen. You don't need to... Shush! Oh, all right. The anticipation is killing me, though. <laughs> Get it? Because I want to kill her? Wait, 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 wait. Whatever the contract is, I'll pay you both the full amount. You let me live, and you don't have to split anything. That's a lot of bits. But, uh, I mean, I've got a reputation to uphold. How would you feel if someone paid you to make bogus maps? You know, my friend, that's a fine point. If I hightail it out of here, I can avoid the inside of a cell for once. All right, deal. Thank the law. Here's your half. And here's yours. Right. Well, you two, it has been an absolute pleasure. Pleasure? Yeah. I honestly hope I never see either of you again. Um, what are you doing here? Nothing. Nothing. Why? Uh, does it... does it look like I'm up to something? Laws, I knew it! Uh, you got me. I'm caught, aren't I? I work in the lab at the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. Some of my sprats went missing, but it's not my fault, okay? Maybe I let them out more often than regulations allow, but they need to stretch their little legs. And so what if I occasionally forgot to latch their cage? Everyone gets a little distracted now and then. They escaped, and before I could coax them back, they'd made their way to the maintenance tunnels. Even if I did dare go down there, they're among all the common sewer sprats and exterminator mechanicals. Really? In that case, take this collection crate. Six of my little ones are down there, but don't worry. You can easily tell them apart from common sewer sprats. They have intelligent eyes, an agreeable yet reserved demeanor, and a fondness for hiding. Also, they're white rather than green. Please, do take care and do mind the exterminator mechanicals. If the worst should happen to my little darlings, well, I still want their bodies. For science, of course. Who wants to play an impromptu tossball match? No one? Really?
How may I be of assistance? Wonderful. I'll file the appropriate paperwork on your behalf. Meanwhile, Adjutant Akande would like a word with you. You allowed Rachel Lockwood to walk away with her life. Do you realize the inconvenience you just caused me? Don't look so surprised. You're a potential investment. Of course I'm going to keep an eye on you. Leaving her alive complicates matters. But that's now my problem, not yours. And you've brought me Lockwood's papers, as I asked. You've demonstrated your talents. If you're ready to talk about Phineas Wells, I'm prepared to listen. I appreciate that you want to drive a bargain. You understand I'm not paying you for anything less than reliable information. Wells had to be in touch with you somehow. Find his communication terminal and send us a tracing signal. Once I verify his location, I'll arrange for your payment. I always reward good work. Deliver Wells to the board, and you'll be more than compensated. Percival will file the appropriate paperwork on your behalf. Once you've sent a tracking signal from Wells's lab, we'll move on to the next step. As instructed, the code for our secure communication channel. On behalf of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, I bid you good day. arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain, and we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself, or would you like to...
Welcome back. Do wipe the blood and... You have a message from Adjutant Sophia Akande. I'm impressed, Captain. I almost expected you wouldn't go through with it. Your signal made it through. We've pinpointed Dr. Wells' orbital lab. Excellent work. Come visit me in Byzantium. We need to have a talk about the future of this colony. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. I'm curious. Wells may have been a delusional madman, but he risked his life to save yours. So why turn him in? You went through all this trouble just to earn my trust? I wish I had soldiers half as loyal as you. You've done well. You're efficient, talented, loyal. And if you're ready to get to work, we can finally start doing some good in this colony. Wells was an unfortunate mistake on our part. We let him out of our sights, and he operated from the shadows for decades. Wells has information we need. We're going to monitor his lab and show our hand when we're ready. Until then, you and I have work to do. I'm glad to hear that, because the board's sending you to Monarch. My sources tell me you've been busy on Monarch. I'm sure you've seen the miserable state of affairs there, but lawless cesspool that it may be, Monarch has one important asset. All of Monarch's extraplanetary broadcasts are routed through Devil's Peak Station. I want you to claim Devil's Peak Station for the board, by force if need be. I have an agent working in Stellar Bay, Everett Gill. Have a word with him as soon as you arrive. The passphrase is, the kind of pine grows at night. Yes. So what? Look, that's not important. Get to Stellar Bay and find Everett Gill. Speak to Percival before you go. He'll arrange for your reward for turning in wells. Adjutant Akande has instructed me to reward you for information leading to the arrest of Phineas Wells. Please allow me to extend my felicitations on a job well done. Indeed, sir. As an acting agent of the board, you are entitled to purchase a selection of official board-certified equipment at a discount. Do let me know if you wish to take advantage of this special offer. I am at your service.
Welcome aboard, Captain. We are now in orbit above Stellar Bay, Captain. No blockade is a match for my piloting skills. Keep him quiet, Cap. So much for peace and quiet. Would it kill the universe to cut me some slack? Allow me to assure you that I know absolutely nothing about any allegedly illegal broadcasts. Surely the board is aware of that. They must know I'd never involve myself in such despicable activities. There's utterly no reason to arrest anyone in this broadcast station, let alone me. In fact, you're doing me a favor by helping me disable any alleged such broadcasts, if they exist. You could do me another favor by mentioning my loyalty to the board in your report. I don't think this bell is entirely on the level. Well, he flipped faster than an antique coin. I'm not sure whether to be touched or insulted by that. Look, you never met a man more willing to work with the board than me. I know we can come to an agreement, please. Sophia does? What sort of an amount are we intimating here? Never mind. The details are of no matter for now. I'm happy to help the board in any way I can, for so long as they consider me a friend. And as you've already shut down the transmission from Amber Heights and Stellar Bay, you've effectively ended all unregulated chatter on the planet. I suppose it won't kill me to work under Sophia. I am on familiar terms with her from a... let's call it a past contract job. As I am now inextricably in the board's service, I'd say we're done here. Unless, of course, you require anything further. Yes, the one that crashed. I saw it on the security feed. A bit grainy, but an invigorating watch all the same. What about it? Not surprising, replacement parts are rare, so the cost of even a simple repair can exceed an arm and a leg. I take it you investigated the wreckage? Don't guess the captain would have quite pegged the price of disrepair being the cost of their lives, but these things happen. A shame. I would have enjoyed investigating the mystery further. The board has a blockade of gunships that patrol Monarch. Not a ton, mind you, just enough to deter the masses. I am curious as to what downed it. A faulty part wouldn't be wholly unusual. The supply for new mechanicals is tight. 
Oh, now I'll never sleep. Unsolved puzzles really torque my sprockets. If you find out what happened, sell me the info. The Iconoclasts? Yes, let's arm the radical cultists. Excuse me while I order two and a half million sandbags to build up around my tower. Is this bonding? I'm... I'm not sure I like it. Next, you'll be asking me how I got the scar on my chin when I was 11. Most of it's underneath along my jaw, but yes, it seems to have faded with time. Moral of the story is, never run with scissors. I'm getting a headache behind my left temple. What could be causing it? The glare from the terminal screen? Or something else? I may have a secret for you, or the right exchange. Ask me what you will. How low you seemingly regard my trade. Give my regards to Sophia, won't you? Progress I built to feel on me. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. 